This is the third week of my breakfast series. After today, you will have a lot of new recipes to be able to create any breakfast or brunch menu for Mother's Day or any special occasion. These recipes are guaranteed to fuel you and start your day off right. This week, we are making Italian baked eggs. So let's get started. So what are Italian baked eggs? They are eggs cooked in a marinara sauce. Eggs and tomato sauce go really well together. It's a little bit zesty, a little bit sweet. We're gonna put some cheese on top and it's gonna be gorgeous. We're gonna start out by making our marinara sauce. You want to finely chop some onion and some garlic. A little tip when chopping garlic is sprinkle some salt on your chopping board. Salt causes traction on the chopping board and it allows you to mush your garlic like this. It's a really good trick my mammy Stafford taught me many years ago. Our next step is to gently saute our ingredients. So in a heavy bottom pan, we're going to add in some olive oil and gently saute our onions. Saute means to cook, you get nice and tender and translucent, but not to brown. Once your onions are cooked off well, we're gonna add in our garlic. You never add in the garlic at the same time as the onions because it cooks so much faster, so you add it in when the onions are done. The secret to getting really good flavour in your sauces is cooking off the onions and garlic really well. It gives it really good flavour and then you can add in the rest of your ingredients. Something that's not as traditional, I'm going to add in some dried chilli flakes or you can use fresh chilli. Chilli works really well with eggs and a little bit of spice gives it really good flavour. I like to cook in any spices or even herbs directly on the pan before I add in any liquid. I feel like it releases the flavour a lot better. Once these ingredients are cooked really well, we're going to go ahead and add in our crushed tomatoes. To this sauce right now, you can add in some thyme or even oregano, it will taste really good. So all we're going to do is let this come to a simmer and then cook it for a few minutes and then it's done. As you can see, marinara is incredibly easy to make and it's not just good for this dish, it is good for pizza sauce, for pasta and even for meat sauce, it's so versatile. And for this, you can make it in advance and just have it in your fridge for whenever you want baked eggs. After a few minutes of simmering, our marinara sauce is done. The very last thing I want to do is just to season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. I want to give it a little taste to make sure the seasoning is right. Oh, it's yummy. One thing it is, is a little bit acidic, which comes from the tomatoes. So how you can balance that out is add a little bit of sugar. Not a lot of people think about sugar as seasoning, but it actually works really well with tomatoes to kind of balance out that acidity. Give it one more taste. Yeah, it's perfect. It's got a nice kick from the chili, it's gonna be really good. So we're gonna set this aside and let it cool down a little bit, and then we're gonna assemble our dish. To cook my eggs, I'm gonna do single servings in a little terracotta dish that I have. You can use any dish you want, or even one large dish, just make sure that they're oven safe. Spoon your marinara sauce into your little dishes, and then make a little well in the middle where your egg is going to go. Into the center of your marinara, crack in one big lovely egg. And on the top, I like to sprinkle on a little bit of sharp cheddar, but you can add any cheese you like. So one of the reasons I really wanted to show you how to cook eggs is because they are the ultimate fast food. They're really inexpensive, you nearly always have them in the fridge, and you can have them for breakfast, lunch and dinner. This is such an incredibly easy dish to make, and yet so rewarding. So our little eggs are ready for the oven. If you want them a little bit softer, you can cook them less. It's all up to your preference and how you like your eggs cooked. The measurements for my recipes can be found below the video on YouTube in the description box. And if you're new to my channel, then welcome and don't forget to subscribe. Our time has gone off, so let's check on our eggs. Oh my gosh. They're bubbling and brown and they smell gorgeous. I can't wait to try these, they look fantastic. I like to serve mine with some freshly chopped basil on top. It just brings a nice element of freshness. And of course, a little bit of toast to dip into your egg. This dish will be the perfect start to your day. This is so delicious. I really hope you guys get to try this out. Thank you so much for watching my breakfast series. I really hope you enjoyed it. This is the first time I've done sweet and savory recipes, so let me know what your thoughts are and if you have any other recipe requests. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and I'll see you back here again next Thursday for more Bigger Boulder Baking.